afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. It's a matchup between the Westwood Wolverines and the Hopkinton Hillers. It's girls soccer on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call. John Ritz on camera. Westwood is two wins, one loss, one tie on the season. The Hopkinton Hillers, two wins, one loss, and no ties on the season. And it, it should be a great matchup between two talented teams in the TVL here today. And we are just about ready to go in the starting fold for the Hopkinton Hillers. You got Kristen McCluskey in net, Alexi, Alexi Hasbro. As a defender, Lily York, a defender. Delaney Mick, a forward. Margaret Allen, a forward. Megan Sullivan, a midfielder. Ava Perlov, a forward. Gabriella Siri is a defender. Ashley Butler, a midfielder. And Olivia O'Connor, a defender for the Hopkinton Hillers. And Westwood will start off in the center circle with possession should be a good matchup here today, Steve. Yep, should be two very talented teams. It should be a, a hard fought and entertaining game. Certainly should, and these two teams, they have big expectations for this season, and we are underway here at Hopkinton High School. Westwood starts off with possession, working in their own zone, left to right across your screen. It's Westwood in the white, Hillers in the green today as it's booted away by Mackenzie Connaughton, a senior, and along the far side we go. It'll be a throw in for Westwood. On the entry, it's Emma Penn, a junior. And now in control, Livio O'Connor with the pass up over to Megan Sullivan. Now along the near side, it's Gabriella Siri. A sophomore, new to the varsity squad this year. Ashley Butler in the center circle. Westwood trying to bring it into Hiller's territory. Back and forth we go. Yep, and turnover in midfield. Yeah, here comes the Hillers. Megan Sullivan with the pass over to the near side. Over to Margaret Allen. And she'll boot it wide right. A good idea. Test the keeper early in the match. We'll get you the starters for Westwood in just a moment. For Westwood out there, we got in net Julia Dolly, a junior. Emma Penn, a junior. Sophia Vella, a junior. Olivia Holbrook is a sophomore, or a senior, excuse me. Sophia Roberts is a sophomore. Mackenzie Connaughton, a senior. Madeline Lacoste, a junior, working in Westwood territory. Lily Hancock is a freshman. Teresa Webb Johnson, a senior. Alexis Moore, junior, and Chloe Callahan, a junior. As the goalkeeper for Westwood will boot it away, Julia Dolly. Along the near side, that's Margie Allen. Out of play it goes, Westwood throwing. Kenzie Connaughton was on the entry. Hillers trying to control in Westwood territory. That was a kickoff of Sophia Roberts, so the Hillers will throw it in. Gabriella Siri on the entry. Lily York trying to control it. The Hillers went all the way to the Division II state championship last year as they drive in here. The goalkeeper having a little bit of trouble, and... Uh, it's got to be an offsides call. Yeah, an offsides call. I think it was Delaney Mick might have ran into the box. But Taylor's lost one to nothing in the Division II State Championship to Winchester in a very well fought out game. It was a very unfortunate loss. It was, it, the only goal of the game from Winchester was because of an accidental handball. It was kicked right into the hand really of a Hillers player and a penalty kick for Winchester resulted in the only goal of the game. They finished the season 13 wins, four losses, six ties overall. They had a tremendous playoff run. What a turnaround they had last year. Westwood on the entry. Hillers this year led by head coach Tom Skiba. Westwood led by Seth 
Lokish. Along the far side we go. Alexis, Lexi Hasbrook was trying to get in there and steal it away from Sophia Roberts. Ended up out of play, Hiller's throwing. Wolverines trying to clear their zone, having a little bit of difficulty. Margaret Sullivan with, with the pass over to Siri. Now Margaret Allen trying to rush in there. There's Allen here on the near side of the box. Yeah, offsides. Westwood will try to clear it away. Alexis Moore try to pass up, but Hasbrook able to get in there. Hasbrook now trying to control on the far side. Now back to the Hillers defensive zone. Olivia O'Connor tracks down. Very similar roster to last year for the Hillers. They kept a lot of that talent on that state championship qualifying team. Just over four minutes into action here. Lexi Hasbrook will boot it away. Some good distance there up the far side. And if you're hearing uh, some whistles behind us, we also got a football practice going on for the varsity team getting ready for Wayland tomorrow. We'll play at Wayland, 4 p.m. Do the triple E threat that has affected many of these nighttime start times. Hillers trying to clear their zone. Rushing in there is Margaret Allen. And now with control along the near side is Megan Sullivan. Nice pass up to Allen. Here comes Allen rushing up the near side. Allen contested by Olivia Holbrook for Westwood. Now with control, Connaughton briefly. And that was put out of play off of Siri. Good pressure defensively from the Hillers. As soon as Westwood gets the ball at their feet, Hillers are pushing hard. The contact there going to draw a whistle as Margaret Allen went flying into Connaughton. Connaughton clears the zone. Hit her by Siri. And McCluskey going to clear it away. Kristen McCluskey was Unbelievable in net last year for the Hillers, especially during that playoff run. And a play along the far side. Throw in Westwood. Or is it? It's going to be Hillers throwing her peers. Lexi Hasbrouck. Header out of play. Another throw in for the Hillers from the 30 yard line. Hillers so far this season took down Dedham in their season opener, one to nothing, and then a win at Ashland on September 5th, three to nothing, and then a loss to a very good Dovershire born team, two to nothing on the 10th. As for Westwood, they lost to Dovershire born to open up the season, five to nothing back on the third, and then a win at Norwood on the fifth, six to one, and then on the seventh, they beat Ursuline Academy, two to one, and then tied Millis at one apiece on the 10th. Trying to battle for it is Ava Perloff, another new member of this Hillers varsity team. She's a sophomore. Hillers working up the far side. Nice boot by Lily York, but no one there. And now the goaltender out of net, going to try to clear it away, Julie Dolly. Had her by Megan Sullivan. Pass over by Delaney Mick, was looking for Ava Perloff. Throw in Westwood. Pen on the throw in, off of Connaught and it goes. Hiller's in control. Seems like the Hiller's keeping pretty good control so far in this game, Steve. Yep. Yeah, they're just, um, they're being very patient and the build up, uh, the quality is just starting to fall through when they get uh, about 30 yards out. Here comes Westwood now driving up. Nice through ball. Roberts. 
And she would have been called off. No, well, she was. I didn't hear a whistle. Riley Delaney will kick it away. To midfield we go. Delaney gets in there and gives the ball a knee and takes some contact at the same time. Play continues on. Track down on the far side. Lexi Moore trying to get there, but Hasbro says nope. Kicks it out of play, throw in Westwood. Emma Penn on the entry. Westwood trying to make some noise in Hiller's territory. And this is going to roll all the way to the near side. Is she going to let it go? Yes. Out on Westwood. Out on the Hillers now. That was off of Margaret Allen. On the entry, Mackenzie Connaughton. Trying to control is Madeline Lacasse. And now, Teresa Webb Johnson will give it a boot, and McCluskey wraps it up. Approaching 10 minutes into the first half. Good boot there Good by clearance, McCluskey. Yep. Yeah. She certainly has a leg. Margaret Allen with the pass up, and that'll force the goaltender out as Delaney Mick was quickly approaching. Dolly gives it a boot along the far side. Out of play. Throw in Westwood. Emma Penn, the junior, in the entry. Rolls along the far sideline, and the defender, Riley Delaney, trying to track it down. Ended up booting it out of bounds. Wolverines approaching the box. Riley Delaney in there. There's a kick and McCluskey able to wrap it up. Pretty good shot from the far side of the box. Yeah, good concentration from McCluskey too because she had a Wolverine bearing down on her. Ends up kicking that one out of bounds. Throw in Westwood. Penn on the entry. Pretty nice day here today. Fortunately, the rain happened earlier than they were predicting last night. Temperatures in the mid 60s, a little bit of an overcast, but very comfortable conditions out here today. Good day for running. Certainly is. So Lee York sends it forward and Delaney Mick trying to get there. That'll force Dolly out of the net. Drop kick it there to midfield. Rub Johnson with the pass over to Lucassi. Now the Hillers trying to control. There's a good boot up by Lucassi. McCluskey will come out and clear it away. Pass by Megan Sullivan to the near side. Now up by Siri. And now rushing in is Margaret Allen. Oh. Allen trying to feed it to Delaney Mick. Cleared away by Dolly. And yeah, Mick just strode over the ball. If she'd just gotten her foot on that, she was in on net. Hasbro along the far side. She had some very nice goals last year. Here's Sullivan. Or excuse me, that is Olivia O'Connor with the pass up. It's a good Boy. ball. Yeah, over to Margaret Allen. Keep, keeps it in play. Allen rushing the box, the pass, and it's in back of the net. Yeah, you would have liked to have seen her use her left foot there and bring it back to the six because she had Mick right there standing on the six yard line. Allison Bird checking in. Dolly will boot it away for Westwood. And that's put out of play off of Siri. Oh 
13 minutes in action here in the first half. We are scoreless between Westwood and Hopkinton. Hiller is looking to rebound from a loss this past Tuesday in Dover Sherborne. Westwood able to clear it into Hopkinton territory. Riley Delaney tracks it down. Now working the far sideline, Delaney Mick, and out of play it goes, throwing Westwood. Ashley Mackin entering the game for the Wolverines. She'll replace Madeline Lacassie. Header there by Allie Bird. Hiller is rushing in. Good control there by Ashley Mackin for Westwood. And now T Teresa Webb Johnson with the boot up. And it's a chase down, or Allie Delaney trying to get there, and she'll put it out. Good speed there from Hancock. There's a push. A little too much contact there from Megan Sullivan. Yeah, this is in the danger zone. Just a couple yards outside the box. Free kick here, great spot. Hopkinton man marking. Teresa Webb Johnson will take it. And didn't take it well. Nope. Out of play. Klusky boots at 30 yards. There's a shot, McCluskey wraps it up. Good idea, McCluskey was well off her line. There's Catherine Hancock on the attempt for Westwood. Olivia O'Connor with the pass up. Here's Megan Sullivan, she was looking for Gabriella Siri. Pass up by O'Connor. Rally Delaney now, the body check to get it over to Megan Sullivan. Now it's uh, Olivia O'Connor. Trying to work the near sideline along with Siri. Siri with pass up over to Margaret Allen. Cleared away by Rally Delaney. Back to midfield. Westwood charging in. Here's Sophia Roberts, gets that one off of Ashley Butler. And it's cleared away back to Westwood territory. Dolly wraps it up. On the far side, that's Emma Penn for Westwood, put out of play. Hiller's ball, or excuse me, Westwood ball, is off of Delaney Mick. We're going to have a timeout with 23-23 left to go in the first half. The Hillers nothing, Westwood nothing. It's a good battle so far here at the Hopkinton High School Turf Fields. You are tuned in to Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. 
Hopkins today, there is girls varsity soccer on H camp. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call. John Ritz on camera. A scoreless game with 23-23 left to go in the first half. It's been a good back and forth battle so far, Steve. Yeah, it has. Both teams, uh, I think this is an even, evenly matched uh, affair so far. Off the timeout, Westwood will throw it in. Emma Penn on the entry. Booting back out of play. And this time it was out on Westwood. Has broke. Back out. Hasbrook will do it again. Pass up to Hasbrook along the far side. Back out of play. Throw in Hasbrook. This time she went to Alley Bird. Hasbrook trying to maintain control along that sideline. Cleared away by Westwood. Tracked down by O'Connor. Out on Westwood. Throw into Lily York. Boot down by Delaney Mick. This will force the keeper out as quickly approaching was Allie Bird. Looking for the steal there was Margaret Allen sneaking up behind Connaughton. A lot of body checks on the ball in this game. Yeah. There's O'Connor. Back and forth we go at midfield. Hasbrook clears it up, but out of play. Yeah, both teams a little sloppy here coming out of the timeout. Yep. Throw in Westwood. Catherine Hancock on the entry. And I know it can be confusing, so I want to remind everyone, Westwood in the white, Hillers in the green. Yesterday's field hockey game, it was Hillers in the white, Westwood in the green. And now into Hiller's territory it goes, tracking it down, Olivia O'Connor. She'll put it back to McCluskey. Nice pass there over to Sullivan. Westwood controls. Rushing out again was O'Connor. Now Hasbrock. So trying to charge in Sophia Roberts with the pass over to Mackin. Roberts with possession. Trying to work the near side against Megan Sullivan. Good advantage call from the ref. She waited to see what was going to happen. Free kick here for Westwood. Kenzie Connaughton will take it. She was going for the net there. How to play it goes. Trying to bend it like Beckham. Yep, she was going for the upper corner. Handful of substitutions for Westwood. Kluski will kick it away. Just under 20 minutes left in the first half. Two 40 minute halves in MIA soccer. And a play off the head of Penn. Has broke on the entry. Back out of play it goes. Has broke will do it again. And neither team able to, to really set the tone here. Yeah. In the early minutes, looked like the Hillers had something going, but 
There's certainly been more back and forth through the majority of this first half. Track down on the far side, forces Dolly out of the net. She'll wrap it up. Over to midfield. Ooh, tripped up was Achilles. Free kick killers. Has broke. Good leg there. Siri trying to track it down. Jumping in the middle of the action was Sullivan. Pass up by O'Connor, put it out of play. Westwood throw in. Cannot and will take it. Over to Callahan. So Hillary's boys cross country team runs by. Klusky will boot it away. Hillers cross country when they meet the other day. It's their first meet of the season. Westwood trying to work up the far side. Riley Delaney trying to get involved and some simultaneous contact there puts it out of play. Yeah, good slide over from Delaney. She read it well. This is going to be in favor of Westwood. And it looks like we'll have a corner. Madeline LaCassie will take the corner. Cassie airs it out. And a little too far to the left. Klusky up to Hasbrouck. She'll clear it away. Had a play along the far side, throw in Westwood. Emma Penn will take it. Pass up by Delaney Mick. Now trying to track it down is Allie Bird. Cleared away by Dolly for Westwood, the goaltender, but she cleared it out of play, so throw in Hillers. Along the far side. Back and forth we go, the Hillers have it. Had it briefly, now it's cleared away. Throw in Hopkinton. Has broke. Nice header towards Vile. Has broke. Kick there. She was looking for Ellie Bird. Out in front. Cleared away for the moment. Still many Hillers in the area with possession now. It's Vile and it's cleared back out. Pass back to Olivia O'Connor. It's up towards Sullivan. Now it's Allen. Pass over by Legassi. Back to Hiller's territory. Delaney, Riley Delaney on the track down. Out of play along the far sides it goes. Westwood, or Hiller's throwing. Free kick, rather. Hasbrook will take it. Strong boot there. And Dolly wraps it up. How about the leg on Lexi Hasbrook? That was a great ball. 
into the box, unfortunately, no one there for the service. Pass up just in front of Allie Bird, and can she get there? No. Haley Jacobson able to box her out. Dolly will kick it away. Off the body of McCullis. Pass back over to Riley Delaney. Now Olivia O'Connor. Near side, Legassi. And that's out of play. Entering the game for the Hillers, Meredith Sesnick. She'll come in to give Margaret Allen a breather. Hasbrouck. Olivia O'Connor trying to maintain control here. Gassi was able to step on it. Had a play on Westwood. Gassi will throw it in. Pass up by Sullivan in front of Sesnick. Cleared away by Dolly. Nice job by Holbrook getting in front of Sesnick. Here comes Westwood up the near side. This is Chloe Callahan. She'll take a shot, wrapped up by McCluskey. Approaching 11 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Can't land with the pass over, but Hasbro is there. Cleared it out of bounds. It was off of Madeline Lacasse for Westwood. Hiller's throwing. Penn with the header. And now pass up. Riley Delaney trying to get in there. I thought there was a football whistle. <laughs> I did too for a moment. Free kick for the Hillers. Asbroke will leg it out from the 35 yard line. Puts that one pretty well into Westwood territory. Trying to track it down, Olivia O'Connor. Here she comes. She was looking for Hasbrouck out of play on Westwood. Went off of Madeline Lacasse. Now along the far sideline, Delaney Mick. Hasbrouck will throw it in. Header out of play, Westwood. Hasbrook will throw it in this time from a little bit further up. She'll aim right for the box. And that was kicked out of play by McCullis. Westwood with a few substitutions. Nine and a half and counting left to go in the first half. Dolly will clear it away. And a play it goes. Throw in Hasbro. Hiller's trying to charge in here. Sesnick with pass over. And along the near side, trying to get to it is Vile. Header by Legassi. Out of play it goes. Westwood will have the entry. Go, 
Connaught and not able to keep it in play. Catherine Lagasse, a senior for the Hillers on the entry. She goes to Allie Bird. Tracking it down, Olivia O'Connor. Over towards Hasbro, some contact that could have been there. That could have been trouble. Yeah. Hasbro trying to track it down along the far side. Up to Allie Bird, she goes, and it's controlled by Westwood briefly. Hasbro gets it back. We get a whistle yeah. here. Bird offside. Westwood will clear it away. And that'll end up in Hillers territory and stay in play. Good recovery from the Hillers though. <clears throat> They've got the numbers defensively. Hillers trying to get it out of their defensive zone and clearing it away is Catherine Lagasse. Yeah, Delaney and O'Connor there did that well as the two center backs. Emily Murphy and Ashley Butler entering the game for the Hillers. Delaney Mick and Megan Sullivan will take a breather. Less than seven minutes left to go in the first half prior to stoppage time. Hasbroke, pass upfield there. Penn trying to track it down. It's good footwork by McCulis. McCulis trying to get in there between a couple of Wolverines. Westwood in control for the moment. Now stepping in is Vile for the Hillers. Butler. McCulis. Had it briefly, now here comes Westwood. Up the far sideline goes Jane Gaffney for the Wolverines. Just a back and forth battle so far in this first half. Yeah, it's played from the 35 yard line to the 35 yard line. Nothing, uh, no real scoring chances from either team. Dolly kicks it out of play. Has broke on the throw in. Lexi has broke up the far side and out. Header by Vile. Hasbro trying to get in there, and it ends up out of play. I believe it was off of Westwood. Yep, corner kick. Here's the corner, and it's a good one, a header, and it's deflected away. Good header there by Butler. Westwood trying to clear the box. Ooh, some contact there from Riley Delaney. That'll draw a whistle. Yep. She was just letting her know she was there. Pass over by Connaughton. Kenzie Connaughton gets it into Hiller's territory. A couple of Connaughtons on the Westwood team. Ava and McKenzie. Now back to Westwood territory it goes. And Penn has no other choice but to put it out of play. Four minutes and counting left to go in the first half. Scoreless game between Westwood and Hopkinton. Looking like a very even matchup so far today. Out of play off of Westwood.
Asbrook puts it in the box. That'll force Stolly out of net. Olivia Holbrook with the pass up for Westwood. Miller is giving them a hard time getting it out of their zone. Olivia O'Connor puts it back in. Now Riley Delaney gets in there. Asbrook puts it out of play. Penn on the throw in. Good step from O'Connor. Throw in for Westwood. Pen on the entry off of Riley Delaney goes and put back out of play. Approaching the two and a half minute mark. I'm a pen on the throw in. Sophia Roberts enters the game for Westwood coming in for Jane Gaffney. Wolverines trying to charge in. There's a shot, and it's wide right. Hopkinton dodged one there. That was a great cross. There's Madeline Lacasse on the attempt for Westwood. Klusky will kick it away. Gets a good lift on that one. Along the near side, that's Teresa Webb Johnson for Westwood. Trying to pass up, but stepping in was Catherine Lagasse for the Hillers, throwing Westwood as it went out of play. Connaughton. Now, here comes the Hillers charging down Allie Bird. Tripped up a little bit, but regains her footing. Out in front of Vile. Good, good ball. Cessnick with the pass over. Trying to get it over to Allie Bird. Now, Emma Murphy rushing in. Uh, one too many touches. You would have liked to have seen her just put that to the far post. She had two, team two, two teammates making the run. Throw in for the Hillers. As Broke takes it. Over to Murphy. And out of play. This time off of the Hillers. And that's going to do it for the first half. A good battle here between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines. After one, we are scoreless. Second half coming up next on HCAM. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. We are ready for the second half. It is scoreless between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Westwood Wolverines. A good back and forth battle so far today. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call. John Ritz on camera. The Hillers will start off at midfield, and we are just about ready to go. Should be an exciting conclusion to this one, Steve. Yep. First half, uh, very evenly matched. No, nobody uh, dominated run of play. Hopkinton started out the first probably five minutes a little stronger, but after that, it was evenly matched. Both teams are a little disjointed. It really is, play has just been from the 35-yard line to the 35-yard line. Probably the best scoring chance was Westwood just a couple minutes before the end of the first half. I'd like to see if Hopkinson's midfield can take control of the game. Delaney Mick with the pass back and we are underway. That is off of Emma Penn for Westwood. The Hillers 
in their home green jerseys working left to right across your screen as we have switched ends here for the second half. Has broke the pass up, just past the attempted header of McCullis. Has broke. Sends it over towards Sullivan there, who had the header, and now Delaney Mick. Billy York getting in there. There's a boot into the box. Opportunity here, no. Denied by Emma Penn was Ava Perlov. I would have liked to have seen Perlov one time that. And a little hesitation there. Pass up by Sullivan. Out in front. There's a shot attempt by Margaret Allen, wrapped up by Julia Dolly, the goalkeeper, for Westwood. Sullivan knocks it up in the air. New York got the foot on it, Emma Penn with possession, but charging in is Delaney Mick. Mick with a shot, and it's wrapped up by Dolly. Header there by Butler. New York trying to get in there. Butler with the pass back over to Riley Delaney. We have a whistle here. Looks like it's going to be against the Hillers. Yep, for a hold. Kenzie Connaughton will kick it away. Sends it flying. Better there. Delaney Mick trying to charge in. Lily York with the pass back. Pass up by Butler. Good ball distribution there by the Hillers. Hasbrook sends it up towards Perloff. Cleared away by Penn. Now we uh, have some type of warning here from the officials. Looks like against Westwood. I didn't really see anything that egregious there. Yeah, you just said stop doing that. Not quite sure what it was. Maybe you meant play defense. <laughs> Lexi Hasbrook will kick it upfield. Pretty good kick there. He's looking to get it towards that shooter's circle. Westwood trying to work it upfield. Hasbrook steps in. Nice pass over to Perloff. On the far side now. There's a boot towards the box tonight by Penn. Sullivan with the pass over to Hasbrook. Perlov now. Nice moves there, but Penn steps in. Now getting in there is Butler. Here comes Westwood. Kluski forced out of the net. We'll wrap it up and send it away over to the far side to O'Connor. Pass by yeah, Sullivan. Yeah. We have a trip here. Free kick killers. Gabriella Siri will take it. About five minutes into the second half. Westwood trying to charge into Hiller's territory, but Riley Delaney has something to say about that. Perloff. Lily York passes to the sideline, no one there. And a pen on the entry. She goes into Mackin. Ashley Mackin trying to control, contested by Eva Perlov. Nice steal there. Delaney Mick. 
Now it's Megan Sullivan with possession. Sent away by Wolverine's defender. Yeah, Westwood's just trying to go with long ball all the time. They're not uh, being patient and try to build it up from the back. Kluski sends it to midfield. York with the header. There's a pass up, potential break here. Dolly's out of the net and she'll wrap it up. Just before Delaney Mick could get there. Off of Ava Perloff. Delaney Mick now. That's it, good cut in from Perloff. Oh! That is a hard shot. That was off the head of Haley Jacobson. She shakes it off and ready to go. That had a sting a little, Steve. Yeah. The only good thing is she wasn't expecting it. She was loose. Good shot there by Alexi, but it's wrapped up by Dolly. Well, Hiller is already with three shots on net to start off the second half. Yeah, second half has been all Hillers. We'd like to see him break through here. Delaney Mick, and it's wrapped up. I think she wanted a little more lift on that one. On the far side, Margaret Allen. Puts it towards the box, and it's wrapped up by Dolly as Perlov was quickly approaching. Good pressure by the Hiller so far. There by Butler. Here comes Hasbro. And now Delaney Mick with a shot on the ground wrapped up. Sent away by Dolly. Westwood trying to charge down now. Here comes Lacassi. Sends it out in front. Kluski comes out and keeps it in play. Now she'll wrap it up. There's Teresa Webb Johnson approaching. Wolverine's trying to charge in. Good call. Yep. Good communication there. Over to Sullivan, along the far side. Ooh. Siri. Siri's got good composure for a sophomore. Yep. Ended up out of play there. Westwood throwing. Throw in for the Wolverines. I believe that was Ashley Mackin on the entry. Kluski will clear it away. She'll go far side instead. Pass up by Siri. Now York, pass over to the near side of Perloff, Emma Penn steps in. Penn puts it out of play, nowhere else to go with it. Has broke on the entry, over to Lily York. Into the box, Dolly comes out, wraps it up. Approaching 10 minutes into the second half, Remain scoreless between the Hillers and Westwood, but good pressure by Hopkinton. Five shots on net. Yeah, Hillers have come out strong. I mean, the ball's barely crossed midfield into our own, into our defensive end. Girls are doing a good job of keeping the pressure up. Hasbrook on the throw in. Lily York. Pass up towards Perloff. A little too much on that one. It's 
kind of how the beginning of this game went. Hillers provided a lot of pressure early on, then it kind of calmed down a bit. Certainly better shots on net so far in the second half. Yep. Good box out by Vela. Will York able to respond? There's Penn. Off of York. Penn keeps going with it. Now Sullivan able to knock it back upfield to Lee York. He's going to set it to the box. Riley Delaney looking for a shot. And it's Ooh. just wide to the left. Great take from Delaney. From Delaney. That was Delaney Mick. Excuse me. I always confuse my Delaney's. Julia Dolly will kick it away. Yeah, Riley Delaney on defense, Delaney Mick on forward. Both were key contributors to last year's state championship contending team. On the far side, pass up by Sullivan. Here comes the Hillers, Butler sends it up. Butler now will go to Hasbro. Penn's been busy, now gets tripped up with Lily York. York trying to stick with it. Penn has it. Hasbro with a steal. Over to Perloff. Perloff tripped up. Stepping in was Butler. Lily York sends it up towards Perloff. Centering it up, there's a shot and it is wrapped up. Great save from the keeper. Delaney Mick was rushing in and Dolly was right in front of her. Ava Perloff with a great feed. Tremendous feed. That was the perfect pass in that situation. Penn sends it off for teammate, there's Perloff. Over to Sullivan. Lily York. Good footwork there. Riley Delaney sends it over to Perloff. And kicked away by Dolly as Margaret Allen was rushing in. And we have a whistle Siri. on the far side. Siri with a little, just a little over aggressiveness. Several shots on net to start off the second half by the Hillers. This pressure keeps up. It won't be long before they have a goal. Lily York sends it forward. And here comes Delaney Mick. Pass over to Perloff. Put out a play by Penn. Corner for the Hillers. Great pressure. Yep. Relentless the last uh, 15 minutes. Handful of substitutions for Westwood. David Perlov will indeed take the corner. Coach Skiba confirming. Sends it into the box. Out of play along the near side, throwing Hillers. Hasbrouck on the entry. Over to Lily York, she lost it. Perlov getting in there. Yeah, Westwood's defense is panicking right now. They're just booting the ball. I tell you, I'm liking uh, Ava Perlov out there. She's really playing well in her sophomore year. First year with the varsity team. Over towards Butler. Now trying to get to it, Margaret Allen. Free kick here. It's going to be Gabriela Siri taking it. It's a good one. Another whistle here, this in favor of Westwood. 
offsides there, I believe was the call. Stolen away. Into the box, no one there on the attempt by Sullivan. Westwood having trouble clearing midfield. Now here they go. Pushing up Connaughton. In front of her is O'Connor. Olivia O'Connor puts it out of play. And Westwood wants a timeout. Talk things over. 24.03 left to go in the second half. We are scoreless between Hopkinton and Westwood. It is girls varsity soccer on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Off the Westwood timeout, 24.03 left to go in the second half. The game remains scoreless, but the Hillers several shots on net. Westwood has had a little bit of trouble clearing midfield. The Hillers certainly playing aggressive to start off the second frame. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple, John Ritz on camera. Exciting uh, beginning to the second half, Steve. Yep, it's been nonstop Hiller action. The ball's rarely crossed midfield into our defensive end. The girls have just kept the pressure up. Westwood on the throw in, though. And they have it in Hiller's territory. Let's see if they can maintain. Hiller's defenders have played well in this game. Pass up the far side by Connaughton. And out of play it goes in front of Hancock. Hiller's will get to clear it away. Kristen McCluskey will get out. Allison Bird is checked in. Westwood trying to charge in and it's put out of play. Westwood throwing. And on the entry, Madeline Lacasse. Pair of headers there by the Hillers. Megan Sullivan on the last one. There's a boot. That's a trouble. Uh-oh. And that's in. Goal, Westwood. What an unbelievable shot that was from the corner of the box. Yeah, McCluskey was well out on her six-yard line there, and the ball was just lofted high. First shot of the second half by Westwood. And Ava Connaughton makes it count. one nothing Wolverines. Well, comes at 22.48 left to go. Hasbrock. Out in front, Penn on the track down. Puts it out of play in front of Lily York. Hasbrouck on the throw in. Lily York. Over to Hasbrouck. Yes, Trying to charge into the box. Kept out. Um. Laney Mick legs that one out, and it's wrapped up. I thought that was going to be a little deeper. That could have been trouble, but it just hung up. I don't even think uh, Connaughton thought she was going to score in that situation. Mick trying to charge in. Penn trying to clear it away. On the near side, that's Sophia Vela. Hasbrouck. Trying to charge in is Allie Bird. And it's cleared away just before Bird can get there. Header by Delaney Mick. There's another header there. And Delaney Mick comes away with it. 
Pass up in front of Allie Bird. Westwood able to clear it away. Hello with the pass to midfield off the body of Ashley Butler. And now here comes the Wolverines. Nice job there by Olivia O'Connor. Penn. Hasbrook. Good ball, good ball. It certainly is. Megan Sullivan trying to set it up. Allie Bird tra charging in. Dolly clears it just before she gets there. Off of Vela. York with the pass over towards Delaney Mick. Vela able to keep it away. Pass to Lacasse who will send it upfield. Hillers keep it in Westwood territory. There's a little push, and that'll draw the whistle. Teresa Webb Johnson on the violation. A little push on Megan Sullivan, free kick Hillers. Hasbrook. Allie Bird. Still out in front, but a whole lot of Wolverines in front of the box. Hasbrook sends it back. Dolly able to scoop it up. Less than 20 minutes left to go in the second half. one nothing Westwood. Here comes the Hillers, New York. Now rushing up, Siri. Put out of play. Good catch by the uh, JV coach over there. It will be a corner for the Hillers. The New York will take it. Oh, we'll switch it up, it looks like. It's going to be Gabriella Siri. Oh, there we go. York over to Siri. Hasbro. Able to get in there is Perlov. Sent up by Butler. Into the box. Margaret Allen trying to track it down. At the far side, it goes out of play, throwing Hillers. York sends it back. Into the box. Header by Penn, Lily York with oh, the shot, and that's a handball, but no call. Hasbro, go, 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 wide left. Well, they missed that one, Steve. Yeah. I mean, technically, her she was down on the ground already. Her hands were on the ground. She didn't move them. I don't have a problem with the ref not calling that. Her hand didn't didn't move at all. All right. If you don't have a problem with it, I don't either. <laughs> Dolly kicks it away. The definition is handling the ball. Right. There's a boot and a wrap up by Dolly. Nice attempt by Allie Bird. Ooh, some collisions there. Megan Sullivan was knocked to the ground. It's in favor of Westwood. Thought that was just a case of simultaneous contact. Yeah. Olivia Holbrook. Pass over to the far side. Connaughton handling it. Go, go, go! And now Dolly's going to send it away. Off of Delaney Mick, here's Allie Bird. Nice, here nice pass up the far side over to, towards Margaret Allen. Put out a play by Westwood. Connaughton, nowhere else to go with it. Throw in Hillers. Hillers still keeping the pressure on. They're not letting up, even though they're down one nothing. They're still dominating the run of play. Certainly are. That's knocked out of play by Holbrook for Westwood. Hillers trying to keep it in Westwood territory. Riley Delaney gets a foot on it there. Here comes Westwood. Riley Delaney in control for now. Trying to turn it around, and it's stolen away. Wolverines charging in. 
It ends up out of play. An attempted save there by Connaughton. Kristen McCluskey will air it out. A pair of substitutions for Westwood. The Wolverines trying to hold on to their 1-0 lead. 16 minutes and counting left to go in the second half prior to stoppage time. Kluski airs it up the far side. Out of play. Off of Westwood. Throw in by Sherry. That'll be a throw in for the Wolverines. On the entry, Mackenzie Connaughton. Stolen away, here comes the Hillers. Good steal here by Megan Sullivan. Knocked back out of play, however, throwing Westwood. Turned around by Siri. Passed down by Holbrook. Trying to track it down was O'Connor. Drew a little push there, no call. Olivia O'Connor. Airs it up the sideline. Hillers trying to work their way back into Westwood territory. Passed by Lily York out in front of Ava Perloff. Perloff matched up with Penn. Here's Hasbrock. Nice move by Alexi. Hasbrock was looking for Allie Bird. Turned around by Westwood. Riley Delaney rushed in there. Sends it over to the far side. No one there. Throw in Westwood. Had a play off of Sophia Roberts for Westwood. Hillers will have the entry. Lady Mick back into the game for Hopkinton. Allie Bird will take a breather. Pass up towards Delaney Mick. Nice court. turn. Yeah. Teresa Webb Johnson the ball. There's Sophia Vela. Over to the far side to Lacasse. We'll send it flying. Trying to track it down for Westwood Teresa Webb Johnson. She's able to get there. And put out a play by Olivia O'Connor. What's going on here, Steve? I don't know if it. she's got blood. We'll have a substitution. Oh yeah, her knee's bleeding. Ah. So Gabriella Siri will come out of the game. Catherine Lagasse will come in. Little turf burn. Along the far side. Put out a play. It was off the Hillers. Throw in Westwood. <coughs> One along the far side. Boot down by Mackenzie Connaughton. Sophia Roberts was trying to work with it there. Comes the Hillers. Ava Perloff looking for Asbrook, a little miscommunication. Put out a play off of Westwood. Nice job by Perloff, able to kick that one off of Alexis Moore. Let's go. 
7.45 and ticking prior to stoppage here in the second half. And a play it goes this time off the Hillers. A 1-0 Westwood lead. Penn with the pass over, no one there for Westwood. Makes this vile, trying to work it upfield. But out of play off of Penn, Hiller's throwing. Has broke. Nice pass up to Delaney Mick. Perlov trying to stick with it. Perlov is looking for Lily York there, put out of play off of Westwood. Hasbrook on the entry. Off of York. Back into Hiller's territory it goes. Tracked down by Olivia O'Connor. Over to Hasbrook, who keeps it in play. Good speed there by Hasbrook to keep that one in play. Pass over by Perloff. Wolverines trying to work back into Hiller's territory. Potential breakaway here. Chloe Callahan. Trying to set it up. Put out a play off of Catherine Lagasse. Be a corner for Westwood. Sophia Vela will take it. Cleared away. Fella trying to stick with it. Perlov gets in there, Hasbrook boots it away. Off of Riley Delaney into Westwood territory. Delaney Mick, excuse me. Perlov on the throw in. Switch it up, have Hasbrook take it. To Delaney Mick. Pass up to Perlov. Perlov. Boxed out by Penn, but Penn puts it out of play. Nowhere else to go. Allie Bird back into the game for the Hillers. Margaret Allen will take a breather. Off of Vile. Delaney Mick trying to turn it around. Put out by Penn. Corner for the Hillers. See if the girls can take advantage of this now. <laughs> Sophia Villa being told she has to stand a little bit back. Delaney Mick. Great ball. Certainly is. Loose ball. And it's wrapped up. Wow. Dolly able to wrap it up just before Ava Perlov could get there. Perlov was just about to kick that one. But Dolly just dove on it. Less than eight minutes left to go now in the second half. Knocked out of bounds off of Catherine Lagasse. Handful of substitutions for Westwood. Sun's starting to peak back out. Well, on the far side, put out of play off of O'Connor. Westwood throwing. Perlov trying to get in there. O'Connor out of play. Throw in Hillers. Hillers trying to clear it away. Good overlap. Yep, Delaney Mick over to Hasbrock. 
Hasbro uh, with a little the kick too up. Far. Yeah, a little too much mustard. Dolly clears it away. Riley Delaney to Hasbro. Now Delaney Mick. Now Vile trying to get to it. Mick gets in there, sends it forward. Put out of play off of Jacobson for Westwood. Delaney Mick on the throw in. It's over her head. Nobody's there. Here's a shot attempt, but it's wrapped up. That was Ava Perloff. Less than six minutes prior to stoppage, 1-0 Westwood. There's Perloff. Sends it forward, no one can get to it. Wrapped up by Dolly. I think she was trying to get it towards Allie Bird. Nice boot there by Madeline Lacasse for Westwood. On the far side, Catherine Lagasse for the Hillers. Trying to clear it away. Back to midfield. Allie Bird trying to get to it. Pair of headers there by Westwood. And out of play off of Lagasse. Wolverines working in Hiller's territory. There's York stepping in and Delaney Mick, and now here comes Lily York. Or Delaney Mick, rather. And put out of play. Mick on the throw in in front of Bird. Mick with the boot. Dolly will come out of the net and wrap it up. Under five minutes to go here in the second half. Mick sends it back towards Hasbrock. Free kick Hillers. Hasbrock sends it up. Hillers going to take a timeout. Less than five minutes left to go in the second half. Westwood one, Hillers nothing. You're tuned in to Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAN. My name is Nina. A gun? I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al My Gal and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love, love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Off the timeout in this second half of, of what has been a very good game. Less than five minutes left. Hillers will have the free kick. Hasbro will take it. This has been quite the game, Steve. It has. Second half has been much more entertaining. Hopkinton just has been dominating, but they're down one nothing on a on a very good shot from Westwood. It's their only shot they've had in the second half. Put out a play by Penn, Delaney Mick on the throw in. Cleared away for the moment. Pass up by Riley Delaney. Now Vial sends it over to Hasbro. A little too much on that one. Sophia Vela back into the game for Westwood. For Madeline Lacasse. Dolly, who's had a few tremendous saves for Westwood, will send it away. Out in front. There's Allie Bird. Pass back over to Megan Penalty. Sullivan. She's tripped Penalty. up. 
Yeah, a bit of a slide tackle there. Go, yeah. Good chance for the girls to tie it up here. Well, we are going to have a penalty shot for the Hillers. It's going to be Delaney Mick taking it, it appears. Can she tie this game up? Here she goes. Yeah. Go nice Hillers! Well struck. Delaney Mick ties it up. Less than five minutes left to go. Well taken. Westwood trying to work back into Hiller's territory. It's now tied up at one apiece. Penalty shot goal by Delaney Mick. That was a good boot there by Mick. Low and hard, keeper had no chance. Riley Delaney with the header. Out of play off of Westwood. Throw in Lagasse. Westwood throw in here. Hiller's trying to clear. Lily York with the pass up. Delaney Mick rushes in. Mick over to Bird. Booted away. Allie had Pavlov all alone on the left side. She just couldn't get control. Hasbrock sends it over to the near sideline. Mick keeps it in play. Delaney Mick sends it into the box. No one there for the Hillers. Mick with the header. Bird with the header. And out of play along the near side off of Lexus File. Billy York trying to get in there. York, pass up, clear it away. Olivia O'Connor will track it down. Sent up by Riley Delaney, now Westwood. Sends it back into Hiller's territory. Kluski will wrap that one up and boot it away. Getting down to the final few seconds of this one, a one-to-one -one game. Along the far side, that's Ava Perlov. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Dolly. Dolly kicks it away. Pass up by Vile. Now, here comes Hasbrouck. Lexi Hasbrouck gets it in front of Delaney Mick. Mick trying to track it down, put it out of bounds by Penn. Good throw. It's over her head again. Out in front end of the box, there's oh. a shot and put out of play by Perlov. Oh. All she had to do was just push that one in. Looked like it did have a little spin going away. Official uh, injury stoppage here as Emma Penn was shooken up. Catherine McNulty will come in for Westwood. Dolly sends it away. Header by Megan Sullivan. Jumping in there was Alexis Vial for the Hillers. Along the far side, Legassi. Westwood able to clear their territory. Put out of bounds as O'Connor able to get it off of Wolverine. And that is going to do it. This one will end in a one-to-one -one draw. What a great game this was, Steve. Two it very was. good teams out there today. It was. First half was a little sluggish. Both teams were erratic, couldn't 
get any tempo, but the second half, Hopkinton just dominated from the second whistle until the end. They just had one goal that uh, was the only shot Westwood had in the second half. It was a great shot, but the soccer gods prevailed and a penalty kick was given, so. Yeah, girls probably aren't gonna feel great about a tie, but it was better than the alternative, the way that it was going after that goal went in. It certainly was, so at least you get the point in the standing, certainly a very well-deserved point. Yeah, very good performance today by the Hillers. Certainly if you compare the shots in the second half, you would say that the Hillers should be ahead on the scoreboard. But in any case, it ends in a one-to-one -one draw. The Hillers grab a point in the standings. They are 2-1-1 one and one on the season. Westwood falls. Where Westwood is now 2-1-2. Two, on the season, both teams will grab a standings point, so the Hillers will now be up to five points overall. Of course, you need 18 to get into the postseason, but things looking good so far early on for this Hillers girls varsity team. Final score for the final time, Hillers and Westwood end in a one-to-one -one draw. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner Steve Sweetapple, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkins and Hillers girls varsity soccer on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.